Hi everyone, thanks for joining the devotionals today. My name is Karis and I'm the youth pastor at our Manchester campus and we're talking about relationships in this series. When I think about relationships um, and the Bible, the first verse that came to mind was Matthew 22 verse 36 to 40, where the disciples asked Jesus, teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? And Jesus replied, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it, love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. I was watching SAS Who Dares Wins the other day. I don't know if any of you have seen it. This is a TV show where a team of average people aim to complete training with ex-Special Forces soldiers. There was a moment where each recruit was asked to reveal which fellow recruit it was that they trusted the least. They all responded with recruit number 18. Bless her, she had tears in her eyes. In an interview with recruit number 18, she shared that people often find her hard to get along with and hard to build trust with. And she thinks that the reason for this is because she doesn't like herself, so why would anyone else? Jesus said that we should love our neighbors as we love ourselves. You might think it's easy to show care, affection and encouragement to others, but if you don't love and care for yourself, there's an imbalance. And perhaps what we're projecting onto others may not be received as well as we'd hoped due to an undercurrent of feelings of insecurity and maybe a lack of self-worth. So how do we increase our sense of confidence and self-worth? Well, what did Jesus say? He said, the first thing is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul and with all your mind. We're created as God's children in the image of God. So when we fix our eyes on him and give him thanks, give him praise and tell him how much we love him, our sense of belonging is naturally and supernaturally increased. We're found in him. Our identity is wrapped up in every aspect of God's design for us and for our moment in time here on earth. We play a vital role in God's creation. And as we look to him, we find our greater sense of self. As we begin to understand and excuse the cliche, who we are and whose we are, our love for others can more naturally and more easily flow out from that. As we draw near to God and he draws near to us, he fills us with strength, with joy, hope, peace, truth and purpose. And we can demonstrate these uplifting truths with others, which will enrich your friendships, your relationships and just passing interactions with anyone that we meet. So the challenge today is to start by praising God first and let your love for yourself and your neighbours come from him. Let's pray. God, we thank you and we praise your holy name. Thank you, God, that you give us that sense of belonging because you created us. We know that when we fix our eyes on you, we can be found in you. And in turn, we can love others out of the overflow of all that you pour into us and into our lives. We thank you, God, that you care for us, that you have a plan and a purpose for our lives. God, would you help us to love ourselves and to love others as you have shown us love first? We praise your holy name and we just ask that you will bless everyone that has joined us on this devotional today. In Jesus' name. Amen.